weeks after a train derailment in Fredericksburg. Calls for better procedures and accountability are growing. CSX admitting it was their fault for not properly parking rail cars that tipped over and then crashed into several garages. Now, nobody was hurt, but city officials say this should serve as a warning. Our Matthew Torres returned to the scene where federal officials say they are now getting involved. In a city where there's a constant flow of goods on the go. Fredericksburg officials say it's time to slow down. This recent incident has really unnerved the community in a way that uh, we haven't we haven't seen in a while. The community gathering near the site where rail cars of a CSX freight train derailed late last month. Joining them is U.S. Representative Abigail Spamberger. Hey, see Seeing where the rail cars crashed into people's garages on the other side of a sound barrier. The cars that fell luckily weren't the ones carrying hazardous material. We want to raise awareness because if there is a future circumstance, you know, we don't want it to be the luck of which cars are currently sitting on the tracks. CSX admitted it was all human error after crews failed to properly tie down the rail cars which rolled over, reaching a split rail device on the tracks that prevented the cars from getting to the main line and forcing a derailment. And the reality is that if there are other places along the line where we might see these derailment devices, the risks could you know, exist. And so uh, working with CSX, we want to know if there are other derailment devices that are now in risky areas. CSX told the community how it plans to move the derailed device elsewhere and conduct more trainings. But in a city where as many as five trains an hour cut through, leaders want more reviews on the impact on neighbors and keep hazardous material further away. If any type of activity or business is done in the city, we, we, we would ask that they do not do it near residential. And we didn't hear about, you know, any fatalities or anything, but it's just as serious as if it was a, a fatality to us. The cleanup process is still underway. CSX promises to reimburse the property loss and whatever it costs to rebuild the sound barrier. They've also been asked to show up to the city council meeting later this month to give an update. In Fredericksburg, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.